Good evening, everybody. I say good evening because it is 10 03 p.m. Um, a long day of planting today, and uh, um, had a nice supper at home. I was doing dishes, and Grant hits me with. Do you want to go buy a pallet of unknown items in town for $200? And I said, obviously, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh, check, check this out. <laughs> so, look, look at this. So look, here's what we're working with. This for $200 on Facebook. $200. And I don't think it's a scam. I'm really hoping it's not a scam because that would be a bummer, dude. <laughs> but look, there's a fill right 12 volt pump right on top. I just bought one of those for like over $300 so right there is a win and you go over look that's my truck that's my truck mirror oh. and there's just come on oh phone's gonna die automotive parts okay so we're hoping for some goodies here um, if this pallet was just stuff for my truck that would be so good all right well so we're gonna go see what it's about come with us to buy $200 worth of assorted random items it's more well, it's gonna be 200 worth to us it's more than that all right Hopefully sounds we good can, uh, we'll see if we'll see if this pays out <laughs> okay we are approaching the pallet made it safely grant is thrilled so he is so so excited Just sitting on my phone in the tractor today well, we'll keep you posted. I'm hoping there's some good stuff on here. I think we have to load it by hand, though, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. So the, pump, the pump is gone. That's sad. I don't know what, what's left here, but anyway, the mirrors are still there. Though. Ooh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, if we'll nothing else, if nothing else, we got mirrors for the truck, though, and that's exciting. All right. Load it up, I guess. Got everything loaded and haven't really opened anything yet. Let's check this out. It's but like Grant's a... immediate find was like an air jack I don't know. thing, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm hoping it's not like total garbage. I don't know how safe it looks, but. I, I don't know. Looks like there's definitely a lot of things to sift through, that's for sure. This was the thing Grant really wanted, the mirrors for his truck. My mirrors are fine, but... Oh, no way. Are they? <gasps> I see them. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, All right, we're, we're gonna, we'll do a proper unboxing. All right, now since it's a late night and we've got to both be up planting early in the morning, um, if you follow Grant and I on Instagram, I'm Laura Farms and he's Grant Wilson. Um, there's been this like ongoing debate back and forth about what the best energy drink is. Before anyone comments, yes, I know they're bad for us. We both drink plenty of water. I drink a gallon of water. I, dr I drink a gallon of water a day. The point is energy drinks are fun. Um, so if you have any recommendations, please let us know. We're gonna get some to try for tomorrow. All right, second bag secured. If you want to see his drink reviews, you better go follow us on Instagram. I told Grant to wait until the morning to see what we got. Oh my goodness! So that gas tank will fit our Jeep. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't need a gas tank for our Jeep, but... Okay. Maybe if we jump it or something. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Let's see here. Our floor mats. Okay. Are just, just, are they just random just floor mats? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do up for a good set of floor mats. Okay. All right. You, I, I actually... This is a pro tip. In front of you, uh, like people who ride dirt bikes or anything. So I always keep a floor mat in my back of my truck. So when I get to the place where I'm going, I can step on the floor mat, take my shoes off on the ground. 
Oh, genius. Yeah. Then you're not standing on like bare dirt? Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, that's huh. cool. Wow. All right, we'll keep you updated. All right, Laura, it's time for uh, Guess the Auto Part. Oh, no. You didn't even get any chance to look at it. What? Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, <gasps> that looks like something that spins. Oh, my goodness. Sweetheart, I have no idea. What is this? Uh, looks like an upper or lower control arm. Okay, I would never, I wouldn't have gotten Man. that in a million years. More shots. Who is are ordering this stuff? And um, why are the boxes so destroyed? So the lady was like a, she buys pallets of stuff. And this is, she didn't know anything about cars. So she just didn't want to sell this stuff, I guess. I don't know. Huh. Okay, by far the most disappointing thing. Oh. But no, also, no, wait, wait. hold on, floor dry. Yes. I'm actually kind of out. Or it's drugs. Oh, it's leaking. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to use that as floor dry. Spots. Yikes. Cool. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Prepare yourselves, guys. Hold on, hold on. Look at all the shocks we got. <laughs> like, what does this go to? Like these, I could definitely build a go-kart with these, but this thing, I have no idea. Maybe military truck? I was thinking a mailbox. to plant some corn today. My goodness. Okay, so we have the tractor parked here and we really just surrounded it. We got the white pickup with seed tender so we can refill with seed. My car, I've got some chemical that we're gonna put in our fertilizer. Dad's got the fuel trailer filling up with fuel and depth and then we've got 1034.0, our fertilizer trailer's filling up. Tractor's just getting a little treatment this morning. I was just thinking about this the other day and I think you guys enjoy hearing about this stuff. Um, but farming is like a really, not really, farming is a low margin business. So like you have to spend a lot of money to make a lot of money. And then you keep a little of that money that you make, but like all of the money just goes right back into the farm. Do you know what I mean? So like, I just picked up um, some capture to put in with our starter to help put an extra layer of protection around the seeds that we're putting in the ground um, because obviously we want them to grow up and live their best healthy life. And it's $306 a gallon. Makes milk seem uh, pretty cheap, but I thought you guys would uh, be interested in hearing that. All right, so I am full. Seed, fertilizer, diesel exhaust fluid. I've got snacks, drinks. We are loaded up for a big day. <laughs> so this is how we set up the tractor. Oh, I should also mention, check the oil. It's fine. And also check the hydraulic fluid level. It's also fine. Um, so on my drive out to the field, I'm just going to turn all these monitors on so that they can be loading up then by the time I get to the field everything will have started up sometimes during planting season all the days can kind of like run together because it feels like you're doing the exact same thing every single day uh, but today is special not because of the day of the week or anything like that but because there is a chance of rain all night tonight um, and all day tomorrow and the chance of rain starts at 5 p.m. 
So we're gonna try to get as many acres done before the rain as possible because the more crop we can have in the ground before rain and then it can have a little water on it, uh, that would just be the best. In that pickup with the four-wheeler in the back, scouting one of our fields is our crop scout slash agronomist. And I am not joking when I say he is my best friend. He's also like the smartest person I know. He, yeah, he's the smartest person I know. And he helps a lot around the farm and gives us recommendations. Um, and I don't know, he's just an essential part of our farming operation. So thank you, Orvin, I love you. My auto steer line on the ag leader monitor is still set up from yesterday. This field, as you can see, that's what we planted yesterday. This is the field we're gonna try, fingers crossed, to get as much done as possible today. And because the iPad is plugged into the seed sense monitor, all that data talks between the two of them. I'm just going to turn my vacuums and blowers on and load the meters. Check this out. So I'm planting, neighbor's planting, and the other neighbor just pulled out of the field with his planter. How cool is that? So I had just like a few issues getting my monitor set up. We're having some problems. The computer thought it was 2021. And so we were recording data in 2022 and then confused, like, why isn't it showing up? They went into the settings of the computer, found out they thought that it was 2021, like January 1st. So we got that all figured out. So I can't see on my map now what I did yesterday because we changed the date to 2022. So I can't see my data from yesterday, but luckily I have eyeballs. So I can see where we planted yesterday. So that's not going to mess me up. Um, other than that though, everything seems to be working fine on the planter. Um, and we're, since we're all full of everything, diesel exhaust fluid, diesel, seed, fertilizer, I've got snacks. We're set for a good long day. So the previously mentioned neighbor, we're planting right towards each other. I guess we're, we're one pass off. We're planting right towards each other. And I didn't want, like, I just didn't want to be broken down right in front of him. And so on the other side of the field, I got out, I checked everything. I spun every bearing like made sure all my settings are right just in case something was wrong I wanted it to be on that end so I wasn't broken down right next to him I haven't waved yet I'm gonna hold out till we're at our closest point and then wave I think that's the I think that's protocol so I was really nervous about me being broken down in front of the neighbor but I feel really bad now because ever since that round he's been broken down and I thought maybe it was just like a bearing that had gone out, but he hasn't moved in like 40 minutes. I feel bad now. Hope everything's okay over there. Okay, I just did something really, really cool. So I've planted, I don't know, I planted under the pivot. So the pivot is facing this way and I planted all the way under it. So now the pivot can move onto planted ground and then I can go and plant on the other side of it. And um, this pit is like all electric. And so I started it from my phone. So I didn't even have to get out of the cab. And I just think technology is really cool. Uh, so yeah, started up there from my phone. I've worked, let's hear. I've done 50 acres so far, making excellent progress. I think we have our first find of the day. Look at this, fence post. That would not be good to a tire. Dad brought me out some more starter fertilizer, so I'm all filled up. Problem is, my ceiling is leaking onto my monitor. I'm guessing it's because I have the AC on and it is actually um, 85 degrees outside right now. I'm in a sweatshirt because I've got the AC turned up so high. Might need to rig up some kind of like a rag to soak that up. That can't be good. I have been putting off something and I finally did it. 
planting the end rows. I really didn't want to do this for no real particular reason. I mean, I have an auto steer line for it and everything. I just, I don't know, you have to go right up to a neighbor's property line and like, I don't want to go over the property line, obviously. So I'm like being very careful about where I start planting and it's kind of bumpy. It's not very smooth. I just, I just been putting it off for the entire field. But I finally just broke down and did it. Um, so now I only have 50 acres left in this field. And mom brought me Jimmy John's. I'm so excited to eat that. So ironically, I just, just got out and checked everything behind the planter, but I didn't check how much seed I have. And I just got an alert that row eight is either empty or something is wrong. So we're gonna go back there and check it out. The cab is looking particularly um, lived in today, I shall say. This was my fix for our air conditioner leak. Um, I am out of seed. Well, not totally, but we have enough acres left in this field that I should not be shuffling seed back and forth, which I've now had to do four times. So I'm gonna shut everything down because I need to go back to the farm and take stock of what seed we have, um, if we need to pick up any more, what numbers, what products, to make sure that we have enough seed to finish planting this field at the population that we do. So instead of leaving the tractor running, I'm just going to shut everything down and uh, clean up my mess. I set the planter down. I'm not going to be driving it home, so I didn't stack it or anything. The win wings are still pinned um, for next time, but I'm, all the way throttle down, idle down. Just going to. I don't have to worry about any of the data being saved from any of the monitors because I was using my phone to provide a hotspot to the iPad. So all my planting data from the day was streamed to the cloud, to dad's phone, to dad's computer. So we can access that at any time. So all of that, all the information will be the same when the tractor gets started up again, but it's time to go back to the farm.